Hi everyone, my name is Moss Lindgren, a senior here at Roland Hall and a student in Ms. Schneider's environmental science class. I'm sure more and more of you have started hiking, running, and biking as it is spring and everyone is anxious to get out of the house in these crazy times. If you have been on our local trails, it is very likely that you have come across this yellow plant that is lining the side of Dry Creek here and many other locations. This is Myrtle Spurge, and although it may be quite beautiful, it is a noxious weed and has been taking over the foothills of the Wasatch. Myrtle Spurge was first introduced from the rocky lands of the eastern Mediterranean to Utah and other places as a water-wise beautiful plant for gardens and landscaping. It even won an award of garden merit a few years ago. However, with seeds that shoot over 15 feet in the air, it quickly charged into unwanted territories. In addition to the plant's aggressive nature and ability to push native plants out, Spurge lacks a network of roots that would otherwise hold the soil together and instead has long shallow tap roots that make them useless to prevent erosion and very hard to remove completely. Removing myrtle spurge is not as simple as just ripping it out of the ground. Stalks will often break upon removal, revealing a white sap that will blister skin and damage eyes. With gloves and boots, it can be removed safely. However, while removing it will decrease its prevalence, regular maintenance and the planting of native plants in its place is required to make sure that it does not return. In addition, pulling up large sections is likely to lead to severe erosion problems. So what can you do? Well, unfortunately, not much. The best we can do is to remove any from our yards and gardens and to be on the lookout for invasive and noxious species and educate yourselves on what they are and how you can help.